Nicole, the math lady. Today's lesson is all about negative exponents. I want to do a little bit of background here on what a negative exponent actually means and really just kind of what exponents really mean. So take a look. So here I said, what does a negative exponent mean? Take a look at this example. We're going to start with positive exponents. Now you might remember when we have like a division problem like this, the, the quick thing is, the quick trick is subtract the exponents, right? 10 over the fourth over 10 over 2, 10 squared, 10 to the fourth over 10 squared, we subtract the exponents, and this answer would be 10 squared. But what does that actually mean? Well, 10 to the fourth means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? And 10 squared means 10 times 10. And if we did some simplifying here, we would find out what was left over is 10 times 10, which is 10 squared. Okay, stick with me. Let's do it again. 10 to the third over 10 squared. It's the same thing as saying subtract the exponents. 3 minus 2 is 1. And if we write it all out, we see it means this. 10 times 10 times 10 over 10 times 10. And when we simplify, boom, 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 what's left? 10 to the first power. There's just one 10 left. Okay, I should have used a red marker there just to be consistent. <laughs> Give me a second. I don't want to mess you up. Boom. Okay. 10 squared over 10 squared. Let's subtract the exponents. 2 minus 2 is 0. So 10 to the 0. What does it mean? Let's go ahead and do it. 10 times 10 over 10 times 10. Let's simplify. It equals 1. So the first thing I want to teach you 10 to the 0 power equals 1. And actually, anything to the 0 power is going to equal 1. If this was 5 squared over 5 squared, it would be 5 times 5 over 5 times 5, which would still equal 1. So anything to the 0 power essentially means there's no 0 at the end. It equals 1. Now let's keep moving forward. So I've shown you this, but I want to show you something that's in reverse. So I'm going to erase this. Take a look at these two problems. I have flipped the exponents. I have 10 squared on top, 10 to the fourth on the bottom here. Well, let's use the trick. We subtract the exponents. 2 minus 4 is going to be 10 to the negative 2, right? 2 minus 4 is negative 2. What does this actually mean? 10 squared we know means 10 times 10. 10 to the fourth means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Let's simplify. What do we have? 1, 1, 1, 1. And we're left with 1 over 10 times 10, which is 100, which is also the same thing as saying 1 over 10 squared. So what does that mean with our negative exponent? A negative exponent always translates to a fraction, 1 over 10 squared. So you just flip it, you make it a fraction, the reciprocal, right, 1 over 10, and that exponent becomes positive when it's in the denominator. Hmm, let's try it with this example. 10 squared over 10 to the third. Well, let's do the, the trick first. Subtract the exponents. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. 10 to the negative 1. And what does it actually mean? 10 squared on top, 10 to the third on the bottom. And we simplify. What does that leave us with? It leaves us with 1 tenth, which is the same thing as saying 1 times 10 to the first. So 10 to the negative 1 is the same thing as saying 1 over 10 to the first. We take whenever we have a negative exponent, you have to think we're talking about a fraction. So you take it, make it the reciprocal, 1 over 10, and you take that exponent and it becomes positive when it's in the denominator. Let's just summarize what we've learned thus far. 10 to the 0, or any number to the 0, is always going to equal 1. Just think. There aren't any zeros there, right? 
Okay, and 10 to the negative exponent is always going to be 1 over 10 to the positive of that exponent. You're just flipping it and that negative becomes positive. Let's try three practice examples to make sure you can apply this on your own. Here's the first one. 5 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is going to be what? It's going to be the number 1. Nice! Okay, 5 to the negative 2 power. Well, the rule is, let's get the reciprocal. So it's 1 over 5, and we keep our exponent, but we drop the negative. It'll be 5 squared. And we can simplify 1 over 5 squared to 1 over 5 times 5 is 25. 1 25th is our answer. Okay, let's do the last one. 3 to the negative third power. We're going to get the reciprocal, 1 over 3. Let's keep that exponent, but drop the negative, 3 to the third. And that simplifies to 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, so you see the idea of a negative exponent, it always gives us a fraction, a smaller number. So positive exponents give us bigger numbers, negative exponents give us small numbers. And that's it. Okay, got a few practice problems for you to practice on your own. Give them a try. I will see you next time. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.